Hello everyone. So in this media we are going to learn about COPT. Okay, cargo oil pump turbine. Okay. So uh, this is a very important thing when you go on board as fourth engineer and in your exams they may ask you if you have sailed with COPT things. So we are going to cover every aspect of COPT. Okay. So basically. COPT cargo oil pump turbine even that in subsequent video we are also going to cover about Framo system okay so here when you talk about cargo oil pump turbine it is a combination of two units that is pump and turbine ye kuch bhi nahi hai but basically basically it is a centrifugal pump so jitne bhi centrifugal pumps mein part honge wo bhi aapko yahan pe hoga pump is for pumping action and turbine is for driving the pump or driving the pump shaft okay now normally we have motor for driving the pump but here Turbine, so that is what is making it to be different. Generally, जो जाते centrifugal pump होते हैं, that has what? That has motor to for the driving. But here what we have? Here we have turbine. Okay, that is steam turbine drives the pump. So basically, uh, on uh, ships which have COPT, they have two boilers. Okay, one is specifically for this cargo oil pump turbine. Steam turbine needs high pressure steam to get the desired RPM, and thus we need the high pressure boiler. so we have basically three types of boiler one is a low pressure medium pressure and high pressure boiler so to drive the turbine of this copt what we need is a high pressure boiler now arrangement of pump and turbine so basically if for your uh, reminder we have already covered about uh, the pump room safeties okay what are the different different safeties so you can watch that videos in a video so there it will be clear because that is also an independent question that surveyor asks okay now uh, the arrangement of uh, the pump and the turbine may be either horizontal or vertical the pump and the driver is connected with flexible coupling through an intermediate shaft and bulkhead stuffing box okay now when we talk about advantages copt is used for discharging of cargo oil so it is used for discharging of cargo oil it is generally used at oil tanker and product tankers its initial cost of installation is high but it is quite reliable and it reduces the port stay time significantly thus brings more benefit to company okay there uh, there is an alternative option also like framo pump but it is not beneficial for oil tanker than copt okay now copt that you will find on product tanker so basically for chemicals also we are using this copt now cop when we talk about cargo oil pump is a centrifugal pump for handling huge quantity of oil it has replaced reciprocating pump it requires less maintenance so maintenance for it is to be less now when we talk about components of copt then we have turbine casing now it has turbine blades as you know turbine blades these blades are responsible for energy conversion volute casing it contains the impeller of the pump impeller its double entry impeller and pump shaft its connection between the turbine and pump it transmits the motion to impeller bearing the rotating element is supported by ball bearing on both sides of the pump casing now bulkhead stuffing box when we talk about it is used to seal the gas from pump to engine room next is pump stuffing box seal the, the stuffing box is designed as to furnish mechanical seal exclusively therefore there is no leakage of the liquid pump and no air leaks into the pump okay these are self explanatory things so that is the reason why uh, we are seeing it now see other components are condenser lube oil cooler lube oil sum tank governor etc so this is a you can say the cross sectional view now when we talk about the working of copt now as we all discussed that copt high pressure turbine so it what needs is to be that it need to have your boiler high pressure boiler so we have turbine so this high pressure boiler boiler produces high pressure steam and it is forced to turbine blades here pressure energy of steam is converted to motion now this pressure energy is converting into the motion that is kinetic energy now with this high high pressure steam the same way what you are seeing is how hydrostatic electricity is generated so turbine ko rotate karta hai water so here steam is rotating the turbine so it means the pressure energy is converted to kinetic energy turbine rotates the pump shaft now this turbine rotates the pump shaft and thus impeller of the pump to take suction so as soon as the impeller rotates so there is a sequence from the high pressure to it comes so pressure energy converted to kinetic energy the turbine rotates then shaft rotate then shaft rotates the impeller rotates which creates the suction 
the main idea is to rotate the turbine blades so basically the main objective is to rotate the turbine so it has already two pressure wire to drive and the high pressure steam that is 16 kg per centimeter square which provides a large force to the impeller shaft and as a result of which pump creates a suction force now what are the checks that we are doing before starting the cop this is very important as an operation point of view as an question point of view as well now we give some oil to the mechanical seal give a few turn to coupling with turning bar and see if it it, it turns normally make sure the rotation direction of driver is correct now when we talk about make sure the grease in bearing housing and the oil in coupling is within the limits now when we talk about starting of copt there is a sequence which has to be follows as we are doing with centrifugal pump what we are doing we are closing the discharge valve completely and open the suction valve fully now when the liquid level in the cargo tank is above the pump the liquid flows in the pump casing by gravity so open the air vent valve to the top of the volute casing so we want that air should get out of it because what is happening is because of that air the suction will not be proper when the liquid level in the tank is below the pump draw the air in the pump and suction through the gas vent on the volute casing by means of stripping pump or some other extracting device so we are also using a, stri a stripping pump now opening of discharge valve as if we open the valve fully can cause a surge in the pressure and chances of pump trips is also there initially 35 percent of discharge valve are to be opened and observe the discharge pressure so slowly we are opening the discharge valve, not fully even when it is thorough okay when it is steady then we are uh, opening it full now during operation of the pump ensure the uh, separator is full with liquid in whole discharging process so we are ensuring that there should be separator should be full there is no ingress of air vapor in the casing <clears throat> can lead to heating of the pump casing so it is causing heating of the pump casing now the pump still runs into this situation will lead to collapse and damage to the pump now as the level of the cargo tank drops, suction pressure approaches the vapor pressure of the liquid and vapor develop in the suction line and pump starts to suck gas in order to prevent this vapor and the gas coming into the pump can be drawn through that vent by means of vacuum stripping so we are using vacuum stripping pump which is using it okay now never operate the pump for over three minutes with discharge valve fully closed most of the power will change into heat as a result of which temperature of the liquid inside the pump will rise causing seizure of the interior parts of the pump so we are doing it but it should not be much more okay because if it is much more then what is happening is is that it is creating more of what is the liquid will get heated up and it will damage the parts of the pump now when we are operating two pumps in parallel be sure to keep the discharge pressure of each pump equal or else the low pressure pump will okay the low pressure will act as a pump as discharge valve is closed and as a result of which temperature inside the casing will rise now when we talk about alarms and trip this is also very important very high rate failure of the system may lead to serious problem now low low lube oil pressure high lube oil temperature lube oil tank low level high bearing temperature pump casing high temperature there are some trips also for safety of machinery and operation COPT system what are the trips these were the alarms okay these five were alarms now when we talk about the trips then low lube oil pressure trip high bearing temperature trip over speed trip very high discharge pressure trip and then we have emergency trip okay so uh, these are the things that we wanted to discuss with you so i hope it is clear for you ki what is a copt nothing but it is a centrifugal pump uh, and uh, what is that there we have prime, prime mover as a motor but here we have prime mover as your turbine now this turbine is driven by high pressure boilers okay this boiler 16 kg per centimeter square that is basically in the high pressure range now this turbine with the steam it is rotating the your uh, impeller and then what is rotating the pump shaft and then which uh, ultimately rotates the impeller of the pump okay so this is the way uh, this is the sequence how it is being done okay there are some precautions there are some alarms and there are some trips which has to be done okay thank you thank you so much thank you for your valuable time have a wonderful day ahead